Infinitero888. This message is for Taurus. <laughs> now, you can have Taurus anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere, baby. And this message may resonate. All of it. Or maybe just a piece, baby. Take what does and throw the rest to the universe. And let's get the show started. I've got this energy, my Lord. I had to do three... Three times I started your reading at 11.11. So that might be significant to some of y'all that are seeing synchronicity. Some of y'all are seeing just like double, double zero zero, 22, 22, or 33, I'm hearing. But uh, as I was shuffling these cards, look, some of you guys from your past, there's a person that wants to put effort towards um, a relationship, but... On this side of the deck, it says teaching and learning. But some of you guys, you know, you guys are teaching this person and they're about to learn that the only thing they're going to see is your rear end moving forward <laughs> in 2023. And some of you guys are smiling and saying, hell yeah, because you guys completed this karmic cycle. And look, zero one, you might, or that's a 10. Y'all might be seeing 10, 10, but some of them, somebody wants to come back. But you're unreachable. And that's terrifying. And I bet they weren't terrified when they was putting you through hell, right, Taurus? <laughs> but you overcame those things. And look, as they're trying to put effort to come back to you, Taurus, you're putting all your effort in self-love, baby, as you should. As you should. It's self-love. And I think through this journey, you embraced a lot of your karmic lessons. For a lot of my tours that, that I'm challenging right now and my spirit team is, they're, they're telling me how much you embraced. You guys got to this point, Taurus, where you threw your hands up. It was difficulty after difficulty and you didn't understand what was even a karmic cycle. A lot of you guys were meant by the divine for you to learn this, these kind of things. Because as you was the student, you're becoming a teacher. You're becoming an overcomer. And you're leveling up in life. You're, I mean, I'm hearing you're leveling up in life big time. And you're understanding your lessons. That's what I'm hearing, man. Your spirit team is... Your spirit team is loud. I think a lot of you guys are starting to feel your spirit team around. You're starting to do a little meditation. For a lot of you guys, you guys are doing a little bit of um, fasting or you're about to research. Something's been, your intuition's been kicking to go towards it. And I think a lot of you guys are going to get a lot of downloads from that. And which way to go, you're going to detox any any negative energy that you had in there, even if it's sexual, if you guys have to do some sexual detox, you know, where you guys fast for a few <laughs> weeks or months and start to really choose the energy where you want to go, who you want to be with. Because, man, that's, you guys need to protect your energy on that is what I'm hearing from my spirit team. <laughs> um, for the people that pulled away from you or ghosted you, I feel that they're in deep regret. My spirit team is saying they're in deep regret. And since you're becoming unreachable, it's pissing them off. And for a lot of you guys, before we get into this tarot, you guys ain't, you guys ain't even focused on the past. It's like embraced it. You let it go. And that was it. You rebirth, baby. You went into rebirth. And you preser perseverance, perseverance. Look at that green chakra. I feel that your heart chakra, you did a lot of healing. And then with the rebirth, that took you into personal growth. And I think number seven might be, I'm getting number seven loud. Y'all might be seeing seven or something. Seven means a lot to you guys. But uh, my spirit team is saying that your spirit team has been trying to warn you of somebody that wants to come back in your, from your past. And you have to use your intuition big time because somebody's going to come in love bombing you. And they're going to want you to surrender to this, to this connection you had in the past. But 
you and look it's about love but it was upside down so a lot of you guys are gonna have to um really use your intuition if it's somebody you really want you you need to go to the divine and see if that's gonna be good for you you know so um you letting go and trusting in, in, in your journey is going to be very important for the ones that that are on that on your spiritual journey right now. And you're barely trying to understand. Let go. Trust the process. Focus on the divine, on source, on God, the universe, however it may resonate with you. You know, but for the ones. My spirit team is saying some of you guys are having are having a hard time letting go. And it's not about an ex. For some of y'all, yes, yeah, an ex. But for a lot of you guys, you guys are dealing with, with toxic, envious, and jealous, I'm hearing, siblings. And it might be just one out of the bunch. For some, you know, all of them came against you. For some, that was hurtful. But you overcame it, baby. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby, if you overcame the situation. Because... I'm hearing that you, you're level up, you overcoming this envious. If you guys are dealing with siblings that were envious, you guys overcame it. And that level up, it's like you guys didn't seek revenge. Y'all really, I think a lot of, a lot of you guys focused on your journey and they were envious they were jealous. I, I'm getting from my spirit team that you guys have this, this shine to you, this charisma, that they were envious. And when I say that and I split it, look at this. This is the light that you carry. And I'm hearing they wanted to dim your light. And look, it's a three. So earlier I said three, three or thirty three. But look at this. You attract. You attract animals. Animals. You guys might be animal lovers. You, but you, look at this. You're very nurturing. And I think your siblings were very conflicted and jealous. And it wasn't really about who you were. Because I, I, for, the, for the tours that I'm talking to, a lot of you guys... You guys are not really, you guys were in a place, how could I say it, spirit? You guys were dealing with some issues. You were asking for help. Uh, I don't think you was in your ego. For some, maybe. But you have this nurturing love. And I think your siblings, if, you, if you're dealing with a sibling or even an ex, I'm hearing. It's the way you showed up when you walked into the room. People just were attracted to your energy and still are. And that's what they were trying to stop. But best believe they're stalking you. If you're feeling it, they're stalking you. And hey, get a pen and pencil right now because I'm getting this song. I'm channeling this song. Spirit really wants you guys to listen to this song. It's called Living. And I believe it's by the Clark Sisters. Living, living the best life or something. You're going to find a message in that, in that, uh, in that reading or in that song. Some of you guys love that song. You guys are going to dance with joy because you guys are going to find a lot of clarity in that song. So let's see. Let's get into your reading. All right. Let's see. For the end of December for Taurus. Let's see. You are becoming unreachable, baby. Look at this. You're becoming unreachable, baby. Look at this. This is how you have your people in the past, whether siblings or an ex or just a group of people, maybe at work. They're in the, in the, what is it? The eight of swords. Look at this. For some of my tours, you guys are about to break free. And look at, you're finding your inner, inner calling, your inner strength. You're about to, the divine is, is really, you went in, even though you had all these swords, you're going within. And you're about to bust loose. 
for the ones that are barely starting this journey. For a lot of you guys, the tables have turned. And now the people that hurt you, the ones that betrayed you, are in this light. Except <laughs> they're... <laughs> If that light is here, they're they're being reflected back everything they did to you. While you're over here, look, working on your pinnacles, working on your craft, working on something that is your sole mission. And you can feel it in you. You can feel. You can feel your calling. I'm here. You're embracing your calling. And look, a lot of you guys have taken the time to draw it out, to to put a plan together. And spirit is asking you to not doubt the mission they have for you. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. And look at this. This is the energy going into 2023, baby. The, the nine of, of coins. Nine of pentacles. Look at this. Look at all the energy you have. So that's why a lot of people are upset. A lot of people are upset because you're becoming unreachable. I think a lot of you guys are, are spending that time with spirit, with your ancestors, with your guides. You're getting to know your guides and they're, look at it. You're holding them tight and they're guiding you. And it's bringing you wealth. Two cards of wealth. Look at right there. Your hard work is paying off. Bottom of the deck, look at this. And your past is feeling like this. And for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, you guys really love that ex, your siblings. And they know, you know, they did you dirty and you move it on and they feel you, they feel how unbothered you are because you forgave and you forgave from from uh from the heart you knew you embraced your your lessons your challenges and a lot of you guys wanted the clarity you guys wanted that apology but you you accepted it and moved forward and and just left them to be on their own with forgiveness no bitterness i see a lot of my tours moving on without any bitterness and the sibling or an ex look at it all sad and depressed And spirit is sending some angels over there to whoop some spiritual ass on them because they need to, for, they, they could ask for forgiveness. They could repent and they're not choosing. They're not looking that way. They, they can't. They're just feeling this jealousy of why is Taurus still moving on? Why is Taurus still, you know, how could Taurus keep moving forward? What they don't understand, Taurus, is that you call judgment. And you left, you you gave it to God to worry about. And you followed your mission. Your calling is what I'm hearing. Look at that. And that's why they're all in their five of cups. And they feel, Taurus, that you're being secretive. Now they feel that you are keeping secrets from them. You might be dealing with a cancer. Mm -hmm. I see cancer and the Gemini or Sag right here. But see, Taurus, you, you, this is how they're feeling. And they feel foolish. They cannot move on. They can't move towards you. They're, they're upside down and they have no love. Why? Because you're divinely protected. You, you answered your calling. And a lot of you guys left with anything even the fox right here. Is that a fox? Look at that. That's a little dog. It looks like a fox. But they might feel that you're moving secretly. But a lot of you guys, Taurus, Spirit's asking not for, for you not to, to tell your plans on how you're moving. A lot of you guys are just in your calling. You, you just, whatever you're taking with you, that's it. And you're following the guidance. And see, now these people can't communicate with you. They don't have divine protection. It's upside down. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's get this, these uh, cards right here to finish up. Let's see. So for the end of December, what do we got? Let's see what falls out. 
One more shuffle. For the end of December for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anyone in your chart? Sun, Moon, Rising. All right, let's go. There's a bunch that came out. Look at this. Spirit is telling you to dance, baby. A lot of you guys love music and you guys are going to be shaking. And when you're dancing, you're going to get downloads. You're going to get, you're just, you're going to move that stagnant energy when you dance. I'm hearing some of y'all dance beautiful. Y'all just get into it. Look at this. 444, y'all seeing 44? Born a star. A lot of my, my Taurus, you guys know you're a star. You smelling good. You looking good. You feeling good. Mm-hmm. Look at a fellow earth sign. Capricorn season. I think you guys going, now that you guys are in Capricorn, people see a difference. And what did I say about music? Man, these cards ain't lying. Taurus, your ancestors, your spirit guides want you to follow your heart. Spirit. And for a lot of you guys, you guys freed yourself. Stop worrying about the past, baby. It says a past loved one wants you to wants you to say a past loved one, a past love. Somebody that passed to the other side wants to tell you they love you and they protect you. Ladybug, a hawk. You guys may be seeing butterflies. I know it's the winter, but if you see in a butterfly in the winter time, just know that you're being protected. Your ancestors are around you. And somebody, you're going to get an unexpected call or a text. But the person that's sending you this, look at this. It's going to be a heartbreak. Because I see a lot of my tourists. You guys are, are moving back. And they want you back. But again, it's going to be a heartbreak. Why? Because you trust in the process, baby. You forgave. You forgave this person. <laughs> yeah, and you left them biting their lips. Some of you guys, some of you tourists, you guys mm, just bite your lip and it drives people crazy. But see, you're focused on your own happiness. After finding the clarity that you needed, you're finding success in all areas of your life is what I'm hearing. And for you guys that that had to leave some, your kids behind due to legal situations and that you had to let go. And I'm getting a little, this energy of wanting to go down. It's like you miss them. And maybe right now you're dealing to a legal situation and, and the divine, your spirit team is guided you to focus on your mission and to allow them to fight your battle. And it's in the divine spirit, God, the universe is asking you to have patience. They want you to focus on your soul mission. Because if, if you're dealing with a spouse that's holding back your kids, that communication or even visitations, it's meant to hurt you. But for a lot of you Tauruses, you guys have overcame that. You left the kids in God's hands. You know that the kids are, are God's, the universe. And that you pray to them every day for protection and they are protected and they want to tell you they love you. They truly love you and they miss you. And this is going to get crazy because if you're dealing with the ex that's holding your kids back or you had a business together and you guys uh, had a split way and, and they stayed with the business, however it may be, the whole time your ex was in secretly in competition with you. Look at that. But spirit, spirit says, this is crazy, man. These cards don't lie. Let it go. It says, let it go. If it doesn't want to stay, bye. <laughs> because they don't want you to people please. Look at it. No more people pleasing, baby. Never quit. So let's get a message. One last card that they want me to show you. It says, ask yourself, what do I really want? And a lot of you Tauruses, you guys have asked this question from the last reading that you guys got. Really, what do you want? And a lot of my Taurus, you guys are moving in that direction. Big time. And that's that's why I'm going to name this. <laughs> you, you are unreachable to these exes. Let's see. 
Universe, what do you have advice for the Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, anywhere in the chart. All right, you've seen that. It says, I give what I want to receive. See, you guys moved on. You guys weren't staying stagnant no more. You guys had a goal. It says, we need to give what we want to receive. When you experience any lack in your life, ask yourself, what is it? What am I not giving? Mm -hmm. What are you not giving, baby? For a lot of my tourists, you guys know exactly what you want. So that's why you let things go. And you overcame a lot of things. All right, let's get the one card from the angels. And I lost my light over here. Y'all seen how the light just turned off? Man, this message, they don't want me to bring it out to you guys. All right, you guys got two cards that came out. Y'all have Mother, Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Ooh, Taurus, Taurus. For a lot of you guys, you guys are already on this vibration. You guys let go. And these people that are... They're becoming unreachable. Why? Because you're raising your vibration higher and higher. And they're not on your frequency no more. You overcame all that low vibrational BS competition or envious jealousy. I think you had a lot of love for them. It says right here, St. German, Germain. It says, karma releasing. Move beyond Dharma. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. So for, for my Tauruses that had to, um, for the ones that had to overcome karma, maybe you had, in the past, you had some karma. You, you might have racked up a little karma, I think. And I'm hearing, and I don't think, but I'm hearing from my spirit team right now, you're on the right side of karma now. And the difference between you, you might have done it. You might have racked up a little karma. Who doesn't? We're all low vibrational at one point. But you started to, to learn and educate yourself on this spiritual journey to overcome a lot of these generational curses. And you did the right thing. So Dharma, Dharma. You releasing old karma, you calling in Dharma. Karma, Dharma is the good karma. So now... Instead of wrecking double karma by you letting go, by you sending love, by you sending peace, by you not sitting there arguing, by you just not holding bitterness in your heart, by you opening up, opening yourself up to love, I'm hearing, you're calling in good dharma. And those people are going to get their share of karma. But look at this. Mary's protecting you. Mother Mary. So that's what I got for you. Hit the like button. Share. Subscribe. Comment. Claim this video if this is you. You got good karma coming into 2023. I'm here and keep moving forward. That's, got, that's what I got for you, Taurus. Infinite Tarot 888.